I have reviewed this agreement that the President reached with the Republican leaders. And I want to make full disclosure. You know, I make quite a bit of money now, so the, the position that the Republicans have urged will personally benefit me. And on its own, I wouldn't support it because I don't think that my tax cut is the most economically efficient way to get the economy going again. But I don't want to be in the dark about the fact that I will receive the continuation of the tax rates. However, the agreement taken as a whole is, I believe, the best bipartisan agreement we can reach to help the largest number of Americans and to maximize the chances that the economic recovery will accelerate and create more jobs and to minimize the chances that it will slip back, which is what has happened in other financial collapses, like that's what Japan faced and something that we have to avoid in America. This is a good bill, and I hope that my fellow Democrats will support it. I thank the Republican leaders for agreeing to include things that were important to the president. There's never a perfect bipartisan bill in the eyes of a partisan. And we all see this differently. But I really believe this will be a significant net plus for the country. I have a general rule, which is that if whatever he asks me about my advice and whatever I say should become public only if he decides to make it public. He can say whatever he wants. But what do you think? We, we, uh, here's what I'll say is uh, I've been keeping the first lady waiting for about half an hour, so I'm going to take off. But, not, uh, I don't want to make her mad. Please go. You're in good hands, and, uh, and Gibbs will call last question. Yeah, help Thank me. You. Thank you. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Mr. President, uh, 